Hey friends, it's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead and today I'm following up with you on a video that I did a couple videos ago where I was talking about powder out outages and how we prepare for that. And in that video I mentioned that we had recently received um, a portable electric generator and that I wanted to use it for a little bit before I um, kind of gave a review of it for you guys. And so I've been using it for the last week and a half. I feel like I have a good handle on how the product works. And today I'm going to go ahead and review it for you. So what I'm talking about today is the EcoFlow Delta Mini. This is a portable electric generator. And I'm going to tell you all about how it works and how I plan to use it here on our homestead. This video was sponsored by EcoFlow. Get your Delta Mini portable electric generator for $550 off between now and December 31st. So before I get started, I do have a rule here on my channel for which products I will and won't review. My rule is that I'll only accept and review product if it's something that I would purchase myself or that I was looking into already purchasing. I'm not just, I'm not interested in reviewing random junk that I just, I'm going to clutter. You guys know we live in a small house and we have a lot of children, a lot of things that we need to manage in our home. And so I'm not trying to collect a bunch of things. Adam had actually been looking into uh, electric generators for a while. As I mentioned in our other video, we have dealt with power outages in the past and we do have a gas powered generator, but the gas generator actually has to stay outdoors. You guys know that for safety reasons because of the fumes that the generator puts off. If you bring that indoors, there are cases where people die from um, poisoning, from breathing in the fumes. So. That's something that has to be kept outside. And so there were times where we would have to run an extension cord all the way from the gas generator outdoors, run it all the way into the house for what we wanted to power indoors. And so um, having an electric generator was something that had always interested him. And he had been kind of looking around on which one to purchase. So when EcoFlow contacted me, I was more than willing to try out their product. It had been something we were considering already. So we did receive the generator and the two solar panels for free in return for a review. And so that's what I'm doing today. I wanted to review this item for you. I think it is something that um, will be very useful for our homestead and I want to explain why. So let's get into that. So let me tell you a little bit about EcoFlow. Um, the EcoFlow portable generator system was created by some of the leading innovators in the drone industry and their goal was to create a lightweight portable electric generator. There are other electric generators out there that aren't this lightweight and aren't portable and are bulky and hard to use and so they had the idea let's create something that would be much more user friendly and I think that's what I love the most about it. It weighs about 27 pounds I believe super easy to carry it around. My kids can even carry this around the house um, and that's wonderful. And it's not just for home power outages that that's convenient. This item could actually be taken with you camping and could be very easily carried around outdoors. I have plans to use this um, when we're doing chicken butchering days outside and I want to bring this outdoors to plug in some items that I need out there. Um, when we have potlucks at the park and things, I could take the generator with me and plug in my crock pot at the park where there isn't power to have that, that food available in the crock pot. So just so many opportunities to use this apart from just power outage scenarios. But I will say that power outages were the primary reason we were looking into this. So I'm going to tell you all about how this works and show you a little bit about how I plan to use it. All right, let me just show you uh, what all the buttons on the generator mean. Once again, this is the Delta Mini. This is the smallest of the Delta series that EcoFlow offers. Obviously, the larger the unit, the more power you can draw from it, but this one still gives you quite a bit. The button here turns it on. In the middle of the display, it'll tell you how charged your battery is. Mine's at 100% right now. And then over here, it'll tell you how many hours uh, that your battery will last given how much you're drawing from it. So I'll show you later on as I start plugging items into, the, into it, this number will fluctuate based on how many watts your, your output is. Over here is that input and output. The top number, if you have the solar panels attached to it or if you have it plugged into the car, it'll show you how many watts are, are in the input going to charge the battery. And then down here in the output, as you plug in your devices, it will show you how many watts 
are um, drawing from the battery. So I love this, very user-friendly, very easy to display what's going on with the unit and keep track of all of those numbers. Also on the front here, you have your USB ports to plug things like your phone and computer and other uh, various uh, devices. All right, and then turning it around, you have your fans. Remember that this is safe to use indoors. It doesn't give off any fumes like gas generators. And since it's portable, you can move it anywhere in your house. It's just such a, such a blessing. It's so lightweight and easy to move. All right, the back, this is your kind of charging station right here. The unit comes with three different cords. This one right here is the car cord. So I can plug this in, plug this into my car charger and use my car battery to power the unit and charge it up. And that's a blessing if you're on the go, uh, you're out camping and at the end of the day, you're kind of low on your battery, just plug this in overnight. And when you wake up, your battery should be good to go. So that is um, a wonderful feature. It also comes with the, pow the power cord for your electrical outlets in your home. So you can keep this charged, you know, after you drain the battery, the end of the power outage, charge it back up, put it back in storage, and it'll be good to go the next time you need it. And then there's also the solar panels. I'll show you here in a little bit. Those get plugged in to the back here if you wanted to charge it in um, off grid using the solar panels. And so that's kind of the powering station. Here are the plugs for plugging in your devices and there is an on off switch here so as you plug in your various devices they will not begin drawing power from the unit until you hit that button and then it will immediately start um, pulling energy from the battery. And that's about it on this. So very easy to use. I am not good with technology and electrical units and all of that but this was super easy for me to figure out the instructions that came with it were very clear and concise and my children even know how to use this now the first thing i'm going to plug into it is our fan it's just the floor fan that we use in our house that's one of the main reasons i really wanted this because the last two or three power outages that we had we had a problem because uh, my baby needs white noise to sleep. He's just been trained to fall asleep to the sound of that fan. And if he doesn't have that sound, he's very wakeful. And then I get no sleep that night while the power is out. Um, and so being able to power the fan, even if just for a few hours to get him to sleep, that would be a huge blessing. So let me show you. I'm going to plug this in. And I'm going to turn it on low. You can hear the fan. <laughs> so you probably can't hear me over the fan, but I think you saw how it showed how it was pulling um, energy from the battery down here in the output, and then over here how the um, number of hours that the battery had life had left in it changed. So at that low setting, it looked like I could power it for five hours is what it was saying. Now, if I shut that off, you're going to see how the number of hours immediately goes back up to 99. So as long as it's not drawing, you don't have anything plugged into it, it's going to maintain, you know, that battery power. So that's the fan. That's a blessing to know that for five hours, at least I could run that fan and um, my baby would sleep. <laughs> All right, so the next item that I'm gonna do is my crock pot. As I mentioned, this is something I'm really excited about being able to use if we go to family functions. We've gone to the park before and I'm limited to bringing like picnic foods, but if I wanted to make something like baked beans or another item that I would want in the crock pot to, to bring along, I could keep it warm if I bring this item with me. So I'm gonna plug it in and I have the crock pot on already and as you show it's going down and it shows that it's drawing some energy from the battery and with that I can keep this crock pot on for about four hours which would be long enough for the family function that would be perfect okay another thing that really interests me or that uh, makes me excited about this is being able to power our devices in power outages and I actually, I use my phone to film all of my videos. So I have my cord plugged into my phone right now 
and I'm just going to plug it into the USB port. It's going to show how it's instantly drawing um, some energy from the battery. The hours are coming down. And let's see how long I could power my phone for with a fully charged battery. So it looks like 71 hours, so that's wonderful. I could charge my phone, I could charge Adam's phone, the, any of the children's devices. And as I mentioned, the solar panels don't come with the unit, they are separate. So this can be used without the solar panels, but we, um, ours, we got EcoFlow provided us with two. They come in a really handy sack like this. They're also extremely lightweight. My children could also carry these. So that's wonderful for camping and taking these places with you. They just fold right up in here. Let me show you what it looks like out of the carrier. Here is the solar panel all folded up like this. just folds out like this. You can fold it right back up. <laughs> the charger attaches to these cords right here and the case itself isn't just a case. This is actually the stand that you use to hold the solar power, power or the solar panels up and I'm going to show you a video of us getting this set up outside. But there are little clips on the top and bottom that stand uh, help it stand up and this attaches to the solar panel. Okay, so while we're setting this up, let me go over some general information about the unit. So the net weight of the generator itself, as I mentioned, is approximately 24 pounds. Its dimensions are 14.9 inches by 7.2 inches by 9.4 inches and it is supported by Wi-Fi. There's actually an app that you can download to your phone and that will help you access the generator remotely. So you can actually control the devices that are plugged into it by your phone if you are away from the generator. So that is a wonderful feature. The maximum device power supported by the X-Boost in it is 1800 watts. And as I mentioned, it can be charged by your car charger, by your AC charge and by the solar charger. So lots of options there for keeping that battery fully charged. The battery itself has a shelf life of one year after a full charge. So in between your power outages or whatever you're using it for, if you charge it and then just stick it in a closet for storage, when you pull that out, even up to a year later, it will have that full charge on the battery. And the cycle life of the battery is actually 800 cycles to 80% capacity. If you already have some solar panels, you can use other solar panels with the unit as long as they have uh, no more than a 300 watt maximum charging power. Right here I'm actually teaching my son how to put the solar panel together so that he can do it for me in the future. He's 14 years old and both of us have zero experience with solar panels and this was extremely easy for us to put together. And then right now we're just gonna hook up the cords. He's grabbing those cords and they've made it so easy. The positive charge is the red cord, the negative charge is the black cord and all you've gotta do is hook them up and then plug it into the back of the generator. So easy. Now the length of time it takes for the solar panels to charge the generator is entirely dependent on where you live and how much sunlight there is, what the angle of the sun is during that time of the year. So when we plugged it in here in northwestern Ohio last week to charge it, it was going to take about 18 hours to charge the entire battery. So that's going to depend on where you live. So here you can see how we got it all set up those handy cases that just clip right on and hold it at the appropriate angle. So user-friendly. Then you can see the cords and how they attach together and then attach to the back of the machine.
Now, you do not want your Delta Mini to get wet, so pay attention to the weather. And if you have it sitting out charging and it's a storm is coming, you're going to want to get that indoors quickly. So here we're showing you how fast you can get this taken down. It's super simple. And all it takes is putting it together a couple times and you can have this down in less than a minute if you've got some help. As you can see, it's super easy to use. It's lightweight. The children and I can handle this. So if the power goes out while Adam is at work and I don't want the hassle of hooking up the gas generator to power a few devices during the day, I can get this out and bring it into the house and we can turn on a lamp or we can charge uh, our devices. We can plug in um, the coffee pot, make a pot of coffee. We can plug in the toaster to make toast, whatever we wanted to do, and this would work great. Some other ways I plan on using this, a lot of times when I work out in the garden, I like to play music, not just through my headphones and my phone, but just play it out loud so that the, the children can hear it. And we all like to listen to it while we're working in the garden together. And so I'm gonna, I plan on using this this summer out there and plugging in a radio or something like that. I think you can see that after a while, the screen automatically goes to like a power save mode to save you energy. So that's a nice feature as well. I love how tiny the unit is and how compact even the solar panels are. We can tuck it away. We just put it in our emergency supply closet and it's there and it's ready to go. If we had an extended power outage that lasted longer than the time that this would power our devices, we could take it outdoors and charge it and within a day it would be fully charged again. If you have any more questions about the EcoFlow, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, also make sure you check out the links in the description that will give you a link to EcoFlow's website and the products that they offer, um, as well as some information about the sales that are going on right now through December 31st. You can get up to $1,100 off of various units that EcoFlow offers, and there are other products besides the Delta Mini, and you can see you know, which one would be right for your family. So hopefully you found this information interesting. I want to thank EcoFlow for sending us the free product and giving us a chance to review it. As I mentioned, this is something that we had been wanting for a while and it ended up being the perfect solution for what our family was looking for. So I hope this video finds you all well and I look forward to uh, talking to you again in the future. Bye friends.